Beef farming in Kenya and Tanzania. This is a class 6 lesson that is brought to you by Mr. Juma. What is beef farming? Beef farming is the large rearing of animals for meat production. The main purpose of keeping this large number of animals is for the production of meat. And it is mainly done on a large farm that is called a ranch, in plural, ranches. These ranches are usually subdivided into small units called paddocks. The ranches are usually subdivided into small units called the paddocks. And the purpose of dividing them into paddocks is to help in the utilization of pasture. It is usually practiced in areas that receive low rainfall or areas which have low population density because it requires space. This type of farming is also carried out for commercial purposes only. Now, let us look at the animals, the type of animals kept. One local breeds, we have Zebu, Boran and Sahiwal. Exotic breeds, we have Hereford, Charolais, Aberdeen and Goose. Those are the breeds of animals which are usually kept for meat production. As farmers carry out this type of farming, there is usually the role of the Kenyan government and Tanzanian government in promoting this farming. One, in Kenya we have the Kenya Meat Commission, which is responsible of one, buying cattle from ranches for slaughter, and number two, it usually processes it into beef and beef products. In Tanzania, we have the National Agricultural Company, which manages the ranches on behalf of the farmers. And we also have the Tanzania Meat Commission, which usually buys beef kettles from the farmers. I will repeat, the role of the government of Kenya and Tanzania in beef farming. In Kenya, we have KMC, that is the Kenya Meat Commission, which is charged with the responsibility of buying these cattle from the ranches for slaughter. And then it processes it into beef and beef products. Whereas in Tanzania, the National Agricultural Company is what manages the ranches in Tanzania, as well as the Tanzania Meat Commission, which is charged with the role of buying beef cattle from the farmers. Dear Lana, I believe that up to here we are on the same page. Let's now move on and look at the contributions of beef farming to the economy of Kenya and Tanzania. One, beef farming is a source of meat and I believe all of us know that beef is a source of protein. The second one is a source of income. When these products are sold, whatever comes in as a result is the income. Farmers sell these cattle to the KMC that is in Kenya. Whatever they get in return is money and that money is income. Number three, beef farming is a source of employment. Many people are employed to work in the ranches to feed the cattle, to arrange the pastures and carry out all tasks carried out within the ranches. The other point is that beef export and foreign exchange to the country. Beef farming is a source of foreign exchange. How does this happen? Beef and beef products they are usually taken into external markets that is sold into other countries and as a result the countries get uh, foreign currencies. These foreign currencies is what is referred as the foreign exchange. For example, meat can be sold into Uganda or any other country. As a result, we get the currencies from those countries where these products are sold. That is a foreign exchange. The next point is uh, beef farming is a source of raw material for leather industries and many others that uses this beef uh, products 
to produce other finished goods. It is also results to development of infrastructures because in these areas you find out that more many roads have been developed to ease transportation and as a result it is boosting the development. It also encourages good use of the lands. Most of the lands where which have been left uh, lying there for a long time as a result of an availability of poor and reliable rainfall. These lands have come to be put into use as a result of development or settling, setting up of ranches. So you see here, it now encourages the good use of lands that were initially not under use because it doesn't require adequate rainfall. So in areas where crop farming cannot be done, ranching can be carried out. Then also, in areas which receive unreliable rainfall, we see its advantages. It can be carried out. And as a result, people within those areas where there is no reliable rainfall can still engage into economic activities and get our earn a living. Now, I want us to move to the next level. Let's now look at the problems or challenges that are facing beef farming. We will look at the general ones that face. Number one, pests and diseases. This one is a problem that facing any livestock farming. Pests and diseases is a problem. Then number two, lack of enough capital. Setting up ranches is not easy. It requires a lot of money. So the inadequacy of this one becomes a challenge, especially to those people who are willing to carry out uh, this activity, but they don't have money. Another point, another problem is the shortage of water and pastures, especially during drought. We have already said that these areas receive unreliable rainfall. So alternative sources of water, alternative sources of water have to be sought for. And hence, during drought season, it becomes really a big problem. Attacked by wild animals. Some ranches are settled within the areas where there are wild animals. So wild animals, they, are, they pose a danger. They attack the livestock and then kill them, causing losses to the farmers. Then, poor means of transport and network. Some areas are impossible. They are poor roads. The means of communication are a challenge, so it becomes a challenge. This resulting to delay, 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 delay of uh, this uh, meat or other products reaching the market. Also, we have uh, competition from other sources of proteins. We have people who are uh, keeping uh, poultry. We have plant protein. So most of people prefer using plant proteins and other sources of proteins than meat. Hence, posing a challenge, reducing the market. And also, we have low prices offered in the market as a result of competition. You see, if we have a lot of meat products in the market, that means the prices have to be to go low because each one of us, the Tanzania are producing, in Kenya we are also producing. So struggle at the market makes these prices to be cheaper, resulting to achievement of low profit margins as a result. So up to there, my dear Lana, it is with utmost faith that you are somewhere. This lesson has been of great importance to you. So try look for questions on beef farming. Try look at it. Look at if you are capable of answering them. The key points here that you need to understand is one, be able to define the word beef farming. Number two, you should be able to identify places where beef farming is carried out, both in Tanzania and in Kenya. Remember that a ranch is a large farm where beef kettles are kept. You also have to remember the types of breeds which are usually kept for beef, for meat production. That is both the local ones and the uh, exotic ones. Also, do not forget looking at the role 
of Kenya Meat Commission in Kenya and Tanzania Meat Commission in Tanzania. Remember also uh, to remind yourself on the importance or contribution of beef farming both to the economy of Kenya and Tanzania. And finally, look at the challenges or problems facing beef farming both in Kenya and Tanzania. I've been your social studies teacher, Mr. Juma, also known as Makolo or Kaju. Let us meet in the next lesson presentation. You can comment, you can ask a question on the number on your screen and I shall be able to take care of your area of challenge. Thank you so much for being part of the lesson. Shalom.